essentially setting Constantinople. So, you know, in AC2, you saw, you know, um, Ezio was sort of born into the world of the Assassins. Brotherhood, he sort of takes up the flame of the Assassins in Rome, creates his own Brotherhood, and then he sort of, like, leads them against Cesare Borgia. This, uh, in this game, he's sort of in an inner quest, searching for the forgotten knowledge left behind by Altair. So he travels to uh, Masia, where he finds uh, Oberon the Templars. This leads him to Constantinople, and this race against Stan to find these five keys that will open up the sort of uh, library in Masia. And how does the actual layout of Constantinople differ from, like, Rome or Jerusalem? It's actually a very different city. We chose it for two reasons. First of all, it was the hub of the world at that era. It was sort of the New York of the era. Super varied, a lot of different peoples, architecture. Uh, the layout is actually very different. It's uh, set up in slopes. 85% of the city is actually sloped, which allows us to do really cool stuff like uh, zip lining with the new hook blade. Right. Uh, the city also is, uh, is very big. It's uh, actually, in terms of buildings, it's bigger than Rome. So Rome was just more spread out. This has actually like it's more... It's denser. It's, a, it's like a maze-like city. People love to get just lost in the city. Is the, is the city hand-designed, or is it one of those things where you, you just say, okay, we're going to paint a large section here on the texture and say buildings are there? Did the, the no, developers no. actually go in and place each building? And Everything is placed by hand. Like, we actually traveled twice to Constantinople to really get it right. We pride ourselves in being extremely uh, historically accurate. And so now you have a couple, you have like a hook blade, you have a couple new weapons. Yeah, the hook blade is uh, one of the weapons that you see. What you just saw there was uh, one of the bombs, but the hook blade really bridges like two of our major pillars, movement and combat. It makes you like about 25 to 30% faster, plus it makes you deadlier than ever in combat. What you just saw here is sort of him vaulting over an enemy using the hook blade to sort of vault himself over. This is uh, an improved uh, uh, of the eagle vision. It's called the eagle sense. It allows you, uh, amongst many other things, to actually see through the thick, thick smoke provided by this uh, new smoke bomb. Oh, man. Yeah, a little backstab there. Very yeah. nice. He's not going to be okay. No. no. When the smoke clears, he'll be dead. And there he is. Um, besides the storyline quests, obviously there's a ton of side missions. Assassins is known for that. Yeah. Uh, have those been revamped at all? Or? Yes, they have. Uh, we used to have what we called crowd missions. You have a highlighted character in the world. You go there, you interact with that character, and he gives you a mission. We really wanted to make the city more immersive and more uh, sort of organic. So we have now uh, city events. City events are, uh, you know, you might be uh, on your way to a mission. And, uh, you know, somebody, a crowd person, just might run up to you and ask for help. Like, right now, something is happening right there. Then you stab them in the face and say, no, honey, I'm on my way there. I'm really, I'm really busy right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. tracking down some of all your secrets. Exactly. Um, what I like uh, about this demo, definitely, too, is we're about to see this, like, kind of chain flamethrower. Yeah. gun. Yeah. 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 Yeah.